Welcome back to SketchUp for Architecture Students, brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. Now in this lesson we're going to make some windows um, for these openings. Given that they're all the same, we're going to make the one uh, window component and just repeat it for all of the apertures. Now the opening size that we have set here is 1500 by 900, so I'm going to start with a rectangle of that dimension. So I'm going to go 1500, comma 900, key and dimension, enter. I'll zoom in a bit on that. Now, just so you know, the middle scroll key, when you hold it down, turns it into an orbit, but when you hold the shift key down, it turns it into a pan. It just makes it easier to navigate around the workspace. Now, to start, I'm going to give the frame a little bit of thickness. So I'm going to pull this in 70 millimeters, like that. Now, the way I'm going to be moving and duplicating some of these elements, I don't want the parts to stick together. So I'm going to start grouping them um, to avoid the sticky geometry. So I'm going to group the outside frame as one element first. So edit group. Okay. Now I'm going to find the midpoint, draw a line across to divide that in two. And I'm going to make another inset 50 millimeters here to make another frame and oops. Same on the other side, 50 millimeters. Make another frame. So I'm going to select that frame, make myself a group, select this frame, make myself a group. Okay, so that's the basic sort of uh, sketch of the window that I'll be working with. Now I'm going to edit these groups that I've made, extrude them, give a bit of thickness. Now I'm going to um, give the window frame a thickness that's a little bit wider than um, the uh, width of the wall itself, so it sits slightly proud. So I'm going to give it 120 millimeters thickness. Arrow key to finish that off. I'm going to give this inner frame here a thickness of 50 millimeters, and this one as well. 50 millimeters. Okay. So these are going to be like um, sliding casement windows. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move this top frame, move that back down 10 millimeters, up, and then I'm going to move the bottom frame to join it here. So that what we can imagine is that this frame here will slide in front of that and that one slide there, like a typical sort of Queensland casement window, I guess. Now, the residual surface that um, is left there, I'm going to move that so that it sits in the middle of that frame. And the same with this one here. Double click to make sure that I've got all of those elements use the move tool and find that center point in the group so that the glass is right in the middle of the frame. Okay, so that's a basic uh, window through there. Let's give it a bit of material. So I'm going to triple click the outside frame, get my materials, let's find the timber or the wood Let's use that cherry wood. We'll flood that frame with that. We'll select that top frame, do the same, and do the same with that bottom frame. Just making sure that I've got all of those faces and surfaces selected by triple clicking it. Okay. Now to give us translucency for the glass, all we need to do 
is to find a material that is translucent. There's a subsection here, translucent. I'm going to have translucent sky glass sky reflection. I'm going to do that with those two. So there you have it. There's our window. Now I'm going to select all of these components, all of these groups, sorry, and I'm going to make that a component. Let's call that Window 1 Create. Okay, so there we have our window component created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this into context. So I've picked it up from a known point, which is this back corner. And I'm going to orbit around and make sure that I've got it sitting at another known corner as well. Now, to rotate this around, what I'm going to do... Okay, get my viewpoint right. I'm going to select the window frame and use the rotate command here. That'll give us a little projector and you can see as we hover around the different surfaces, that protractor will sort of snap to the angle of rotation. Now, we want it to snap to that green angle of rotation because we want it to be coming towards us. So we snap that location. Now, I snap the first angle of rotation and then I bring it around. I can type in 90 degrees and there the window comes around like that. Now because I've snapped it to the back edge, you'll see that the window is flush with the inner surface. But what I might do is actually push this in 10 millimeters so that it's got a 10 millimeter projection both sides of the room. Okay, so there we have our window in place. Now I'm going to copy this window to the next one. Again, I'm going to find a known point. So I'm going to snap to the opening, the window opening, not the window itself. Control, make sure that I'm doing a copy. And then find that equivalent snap point of the opening there. And there I have the two windows with the upper casement folding down on the outside, lower one folding up on the inside. Now I'm going to copy these two windows to the opposite side. Now we can't just push them through on the one plane because then the inside-outside relationship is incorrect. So we're going to have to rotate and copy these 180 degrees. So I've selected both of them by using the selector and the control to get multiple copies. Again I'm going to use my rotate tool going to rotate on the horizontal plane. Just pick a point there. I'm going to pick a point there. Now if I again use my control key modifier, I get a copy. I punch in 180 degrees. Then I know that I've brought them completely around. Now I'm going to pick it up by this corner here so that I can snap it exactly to that opening there. And then, like before, I'm going to move them out 10 millimeters, like that. So there we have our window components sitting in context. Now, remember that if we have, if we want to change the windows, we just have to change it once and we change all of those elements. So for example if we edit this, we change the glass to perhaps a translucent green glass on the top there and on the bottom. And when we exit out of that, you'll see it's changed it on all of those surfaces. Okay.